that interest you, at least a couple of months or so ago, was Rice University, the University yes. of Southern California, or Stanford? Are those uh, all in, in play? Have you yeah, so um, I'm going to be applying to Rice pretty soon here. The deadline is November 1st. I'm going to be applying early so that my chances are a little bit higher. Um, definitely, it's going to be like one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm going to have to write an essay that's like one of the best I've ever done. and I'm, I'm competing with just, like tons of really intelligent people, and I'm just crossing my fingers and uh, working hard. Well, I have every confidence after I've read your resume that I think mean, you have a, a more than decent shot of, uh, of being there. Um, Potential majors that you list are an entrepreneur, computer science, or business. Yeah, I, ever since I've been young, I've just always loved making my own money. Um, I used to like, I don't know, it started off by just pet sitting, for um, a neighbor in my neighborhood at when I was like about 10 and that just slowly progressed into having like other business ventures. I designed stickers on this website and was making like 40 bucks a month by just making some designs. And uh, I don't know, it's just I've always loved um, producing something and then selling it myself. So I think that's really cool. Well, it sounds like you definitely have that spirit within you. So <laughs> you, who knows, maybe you can you utilize your computer science or something to help in that endeavor. Yeah, I would love to. Because that is a very, very growing field. Okay, um, you list some things we're going to talk about, but you also have an attached resume, so we'll try to get to all that information okay. because we have a lot to talk about. Okay, one thing that I'm looking at when I look at your resume, I want you to talk about the AP Ambassador Program. I know Miss Anderson started that. She's not related to me, but mm -hmm. I know her. Uh, and so you've been involved with that all four years in yeah. your high school career. Tell us about the AP Ambassadors Program. So AP Ambassadors, it started off um, by just a couple of seniors trying to bring some awareness to AP classes in the younger generations because, you know, a lot, some people don't understand that it's really not – it's not going to kill you taking one AP or pre-AP class. And a lot of people were just – really worried about it, so uh, they started off um, going to the junior highs and letting them know first-hand experiences on what like AP classes are and um, yeah, what, what the challenges are and how you can overcome your, the struggles that come with taking these classes. Um, so this year, uh, I'm, I'm the president, I've been the president the last two years, and we're really trying to expand what we do. Um, we're doing our very first fundraiser. Um, we're going to be uh, donating an angel, is it called? Oh, you're adopting an angel. Adopting an angel, yes. Very good. And um, we have really uh, big plans for the future. We really want to expand from just telling people about these classes to showing that you can take these classes and have a difference in your community. I'm so happy to hear you say that because we need to challenge all of the students to, to reach their potential and taking an AP class or dual credit or on-ramps, that's mm -hmm. a way to do that for sure. Okay, you list several things for us to talk about. One, you, you had a goal this year of your on SAT scores. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, so Rice University is super competitive, and their SAT scores, they require, um, the, the medium is about um, you know, 1,500. Um, so I've been taking it the last, I don't know, five months, and I've just kept studying, studying, studying. Uh, I'm currently at a 1,370. I still have a ways to go into my goal, but I still... Still have a month to go. Uh, it's just, it's really fun for me to actually take these tests. I know it sounds weird, but I don't know, when I sit down there for four hours, it, it's kind of fun to be challenged rigorously like that, and um, I really hope I can reach that goal. We do tell them, keep my fingers crossed. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about, I know you have your NASA shirt oh, yeah. on. <laughs> we don't have a lot of high school seniors that have, like, completed a 12-week program with NASA. So please, tell us about that, Harrison. So, yeah, I was in uh, my sophomore year, and a, a substitute teacher came up to me and said, oh, you, you seem like you're really interested in science. And she told me about this uh, organization called the High School Airspace Scholars. Um, it, it starts off as a 12-week um, program that you take online, and uh, I think the top 5% of students uh, that score the highest scores in the program get invited to go to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. And I was lucky enough to be one of the top uh, 5%. I got flown out to Houston, and I got to meet a bunch of like super uh, like like-minded, like amazing people. And I, I've made friends there that I will never forget. We spent like 12 hours a day working on a on a mission to Mars, and like a mock mission to Mars, where we'd um, 
at the end of the seven week experience, we would present it to like a board of NASA employees. And oh, it was, it was so nerve wracking, but it was just so much fun to, to do that with, with people uh, like me. Well, you also list in your, in your resume that uh, you also like to help people. You and Grace, you like to help people too. Mm -hmm. And he's, he wrote a quote in here, and again, you guys, you all four are very, very impressive. I'm not going to say that up front. But um, Harrison writes, in a society where com competition is rampant, I think it is important to pay kindness forward. I'm sorry, I'm getting joked at. Oh, my gosh. Good for you. Good Thank for you. you. Thank you. I think that needs a round. Yeah. Okay. Uh, academic strengths that you list would be... Um, Learning from your desire to study uh, and content outside of class. So obviously, if you're doing, you know, missions to Mars and things like that, those are things that probably, you know, take you outside of classroom just a little bit. Yeah. So that's good. And, and you have a fear of missing out. You don't want to miss out on anything. Yeah, I've tried so many clubs in high school. I've probably probably done everything. Um, I, I joined the math and science team. I joined the technology student association. I joined ready writing. I joined just, just about everything that we offer because, I don't know, I, I just, I love to do everything, but there's not enough time. So priorities are definitely hard for me because I just, I just get really excited to do something new. That's, that's very, that shows up a lot, and that's going to help you, I think. I hope you put all that stuff in your, in your resume that you send to write because I think that will probably be a big selling point for you. Uh, one thing that Harrison Wright is saying, and I love this, he writes that his greatest, his biggest personal strength is staying out of drama. <laughs> Bless you, my son, because I think we have way too much drama in this world. So I hope you stay the course on that as well. Uh, Overcommitting yourself is one of the things you list as a weakness. And so you're a pretty involved guy, so I can see where that might, might be a, a challenge for you. But it seems like that you found a way to balance that pretty well. Adjectives that you use are driven, compassionate, and optimistic. I think you definitely exemplify that today. And, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about one little uh, other interesting fact about you. Okay, so your mother taught you German at the same time you, was, you were learning English. So you're able to communicate with your relatives in Germany. And you go, you go visit them every summer. Yeah, my mom is the best. Shout out to my mom. Um, <laughs> she taught me German and English at the same time, and I didn't have to struggle through having to learn German and everything, so I can just go visit my family in Germany sometimes and, and just speak with them. And I feel like just knowing German is just, oh, it's just, it makes me very happy being able to, I don't know, communicate with the, like basically the rest of the world. I don't know, it's, it's just something I'm really proud of, and I really thank my mom a lot for that. Okay, Harrison, you made me cry, so thank you very much for that. Um, what is the one thing that you have accomplished or would like to accomplish before you graduate from high school? Um, I think it would be just kind of taking AP Ambassadors and kind of turning it into a group that focuses not just on telling other people the benefits of taking AP classes, but turning it into something that helps the community as a whole. Um, doing our first fundraiser is definitely going to help us get the funds to, to do that. I feel like I'm proud of that. Very good. All right, Harrison, on behalf of Azel Rotary Club, congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thank you.